thank you for watching my first ever actual YouTube video. Um, in this video I'm going to uh, introduce myself and show you around a bit in my art studio. So I invite you to just sit back and relax and see my place uh, of work where I make all of my paintings and illustrations. Uh, my name is Nadja, I'm 31 years old and I live in the Netherlands. Um, I started my illustration and art business um, in 2012, so it's been, well, more than five years by now. Um, I started working from this art studio actually uh, like two years ago, so I at first I was working at home. I actually had another job uh, alongside my illustration business for uh, three years I think and then two years ago I started renting this uh, this art studio it's what most artists say so it's it might may sound as a little cliche but yeah I've been drawing my whole life and also while I was in college I was um, studying to become a speech therapist. I actually also graduated and worked as a speech therapist for a while. Um, but the drawing always was present in my life, so I kept drawing always. Um, and I started to do a couple of small commissions, you know, for friends and family, and it actually just kept on growing. You can characterize my work as a sort of whimsical, uh, illustrations. Um, they're mostly categorized with children's art. Um, I myself, I don't specifically put an age on the drawings um, since many people of many ages can enjoy them and my customers are mostly uh, are most often adults. Most people will recognize my work for the little rodents in it and the paper boats, I think. Um, but for me it's not just about repetitively drawing mice and, um, and boats, but I think there's an ongoing theme within my work that, um, like I said, is not just something that speaks to children, but it's really about creating a world of fantasy to, uh, to maybe escape from the hectic world and the daily um, just a daily stress and create a world where adventures can be made and you just can visit your childhood and think about, um, well not think about the daily problems and just, you know, let your imagination go wild. <laughs> As an artist, I try to make a living um, through several income streams, um, so to speak. So I work on a commission base and I also have my web shop. Um, next to that, I also have a Patreon account and um, well, there are just several ways for an artist to, yeah, to make an income, to make a living. Um, it's not just commissions and it's not just the Etsy shop. Uh, I love the way how I can um, schedule my day to contain new products for Etsy, for example, and also to work on commissions for, for my clients that always uh, have, a, have an own unique vision of what they would like to, uh, to have me make. So, um, well, there's not a boring day, well, maybe that's a lie. I mean, I don't like, I don't really like to do the uh, administration and bookkeeping. That's unfortunately also a part of running a business. Um, but for the most part, I just really love my job and I would be able to do this a long, long time. For the commissions I make, it's mostly uh, birth announcements and wedding invitations, also a lot of paintings um, uh, for people that want to have a keepsake for their pets, and 
and it's always nice to find uh, lovely endearing ways to portray these animals in my own illustration style. I am a fairly organized person. Um, I just cannot operate when anything is chaotic in my environment. So I think it shows in my um, my art studio that I, I developed some kind of a storing system over the years um, when packing and wrapping and shipping the artworks. It's just so more convenient if everything is just within reach. When I, whenever I order something uh, from another artist, I just, um, I'm always very excited to open the, the package and I can imagine people receiving my uh, paintings and prints also um, like to open the, the package and just see what is in there, what goodies are uh, in the box. And so I always leave a little handwritten message and well, I guess the whole shipping process and the way I handle my orders is also maybe a subject for another video. So I do draw uh, traditional, like I said, but I also like to, um, to draw digital. Um, I work in Photoshop and I use a Wacom uh, tablet, I hope I pronounce that right, uh, an Intuos one. And I just love to paint in, in Photoshop, but I, I also am drawn very much to the traditional way of working, I must say. I draw a lot of inspiration um, from animals and nature. A lot of inspiration comes from our little son Luke who's also discovering the world around him and it's fun to watch him play and grow a personality of his own and I, I just love to draw him and incorporate him in, uh, in my drawings and it also gives a lot of inspiration for when I'm working on the birth announcement uh, invitation specifically because now I just know the feeling of being a mom and having a little baby. Whenever I get stuck in my head or don't have any inspiration, I can just turn back to my sketchbook and my, my plain old uh, graphite pencils and just sketch. Um, I also work with Ecoline and uh, watercolors. Um, I think since a year, roughly, I've been exper also experimenting with uh, paper cut layers. I hope you have gotten a good impression of who I am and what my work looks like and where I work. Hey you guys, I just wanted to say uh, hi real quick in person too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do many of these full frontal videos, but I just thought it may be nice for you to see the face behind the videos and the art account. Um, I really hope you have enjoyed my YouTube video. If there are any subjects you would like me to uh, shine my light on, then please leave them in the comments down below. You'll also find all of my information in the description. Bye-bye.